Height doesn't measure heart. He's driven. He wants to prove everybody wrong. He's one of the smallest guys on the team, and there's that heart you're talking about. After the Time Magazine interview, a lot of people will come up to him, ask him questions, and he's a very humble kid. He doesn't let anything get to his head. He doesn't like losing. He's relentless. Sliding in safely as Joey Baseball. My name is Joey. I am 11 and I play baseball. Over here is this when we hit. These are all the bats that I use. Down the middle, I'm just basically trying to hit it straight in the middle of the net. So it's a line drive up the middle. So I'll just, then I'll move it inside. I'll stand in the same spot and I'll try to hit it on this side. I work seven days a week and I train my hardest for that time. We're going to All-Pro right now. Sometimes we go to Philly, it's 30 minutes away, uh, depending on which day it is and who he's going to see. I wasn't a baseball player, but I tried to help him with the basic stuff. Then when it was out of my league, that's when I got him the trainers. You ready? Go. Thumbs in. Thumbs up. Right back where the ball came from. Two more, Joey. Good day. Good day. That o. Better. There's competitiveness. Joey hates losing. I think it's there's an importance to that. Yeah, I get um, motivated by losing and just got to work, work off of your mistakes. All the way through, flat to it. Good. I run a program called Brain and Barrel Hitting, and I've been working with Joey for, that was nice, for two, two years. Because I got a lot of pro guys, a lot of D1 guys, and then I got this kid, he's 70 pounds, who I really don't have to slow down with at all. Mentally, he's there, he knows what he needs to work on. Yeah, two. So that was exactly right. He can basically do everything. There's really not much he can't do. I'd say hard work, definitely talent. I'd say a little bit of everything, though. He does have a good work ethic. Being able to do this you know, all the time before he throws is going to help him stay on the field, keep him healthy. Not a lot of kids at his age are doing arm care, so he's, he's definitely ahead of the game. Try to keep those legs still as much as he can. We go an hour, hour and a half, but then he actually extends his workouts almost every other time. My running coach, Brandon Bing, he played for the Giants, won Super Bowl with them. I'm gonna change it to a, uh, a mini hurdle drill, which is more so for his turnover. So he has to have balance. He's trying to get a rhythm down, because that's all running is. Even though he won't be running like this in the game, it'll help him get faster and stronger. He can be as fast as possible. If he doesn't have snap in his arms and getting that knee back down, I call it lazy. It's important for his hip flexion to be able to push off laterally in his 60s. So I'm watching his arm swing. I'm watching where his first step is. Better. Got good command. He's a really good competitor. Throws a lot of strikes. Why we're throwing a football is be able to work on this his front arm when he's throwing. So it's very similar to throwing a baseball. Being able to keep that front arm up. He just uses his body very well. We're working on his hands. Or it's called uh, short hops. Yeah, he's got real good fast feet. So his foot works real fast. His gloves pretty fast and smooth. And a boy. For his age, he's absolutely more mature than, than most of the other guys. Once that maturation process starts physically and he puts some weight on, that's where he's really gonna start to separate himself if he hasn't already. A big thing for Joey, partly because of his size, he's playing against really skilled guys and really polished guys who also happen to be double his size and weight. Do it. Fake to me, fake to me. Yeah. The good thing is everybody pitches their best pitchers at us. Even though, you know, we may struggle against some of the best pitching, it makes you guys better hitters. If you're used to seeing all the best pitchers, then you're never going to be surprised. But at some point, you guys are going to be able to hit anything, just like the drillers in Texas. They've been seeing it for years. They see everybody's best pitcher, and now they're great hitters. Let's go, big game right here. Everyone better step it up. Let's go. Let's go. Select on three! One, two, three, select! Joey, four over. Jake, three over. Ty, stay even until Joey tells you to move back. My name is Dave Lipoff, one of the coaches for New Jersey Select. We need to keep pouring it on here, okay? We need to get this done early and have a chance here. You understand? Let's go. Joey's a gamer. Um, Joey loves to play, likes, likes being out there. And, you know, from a coaching perspective, Joey's one of the leaders, one of the catalysts on our team. You know, I look to Joey to, you know, provide a spark for the rest of the team. All right, go Logan! Go Logan! 
So kids. Go Hogan. Anywhere we go, a lot of people know who Joey is. So a lot of people will come out. A lot of people will watch Joey play. Go Joey. I'm mean, go Joe. Come on, Joe. Run it, run it. When there's like a bunch of people watching me, I do pretty good. I just thrive off that. The short-term goal is to get a nice high school education and then eventually college. You know, I'd love him to get into a D1 school and play some nice baseball if that's what he chooses to do. If I had a crystal ball and it said that Joey would not be a Division I baseball player or he would not make the MLB and that was a guarantee, I wouldn't stop what I'm doing. He's going to hit a home run. Yeah? Matt's going to hit a home back run. Back to yeah. back. Back to back. Come on! Five, get that, get that. Five, zero. Go, 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 go! You know, in regards to the team, he's a teammate. And, you know, he doesn't try to make himself above the team, which I enjoy. Let's go, boys! My favorite player, player is Jose Altuve. And I actually have, like, a stat, this little statue of him right here. I never opened it. It's just my favorite player. Because he's small, and he had he actually got cut from Major League, and then he had to try out again to make it. A couple weekends ago, I won player of the game for NJ Select. I went to spring training and met Miguel Cabrera. Hey, Joey Baseball. <laughs> he started following me on Instagram. I got to like sit on the field for a little bit. I, went to, I got to go in the dugout. He likes my work ethic. I just love the game itself. I love, loved everything about it. I would go to the local fields and I would just hit with my dad, like little wiffle balls. My goal is to go to a D1 college. I wish that all my work pays off. I will go to MLB, I'll get D1 scholarship. There's a ton of pressure, but it doesn't phase him. Like he just goes up and has fun. I've never heard Joey say, I'm afraid, I'm scared, I can't do this. It's always, oh, I can't wait. 